Hey guys, this is Sakib. Welcome to BD Themes widget tutorial. Do you know about the confetti effect or party effect for Elementor website? In case you don't, today we'll talk about the confetti effect extension on our Element Pack Pro plugin. Let's get straight into the working procedure. First of all, you need to have the design ready on the screen where you need to apply this effect. Then click on the section settings icon, go to advanced tab and click on the confetti effects option there. That's one thing. You can actually put the effect on a specific widget or element too for better interaction, like the button. Go to the button setting and find the confetti effect option in the advanced tab. Then turn on the switcher to activate it. There will be a pretty popper effect on the display as soon as you turn on the switcher. That's the basic by default setting. There are 5 unique confetti type available here. Each one has a different style of presenting the effect. For example, go with the random direction option and the popper will pop up in different places every time. Try the other options to see how the confetti looks like. Going back to the basic type, you can increase the density or particle count on the effect through the first scroll bar on top. The density remains the same for all type of effects. After that, you can adjust the burst spread or starting velocity of the confetti effect. Then you can adjust the particle spreading according to your needs. More spreading covers more ground on the background. For particle colors, you can just put the color codes inside this field separated by commas. There's no limit on the number of colors. Under that field, you can describe the basic shapes of the particles. There's an instruction given about how you can adjust the shapes at will. Next, you can reposition the origin of the effect by the X and Y axis scroll bar on this option here. Just try yourself and see how it fits. Reverting the position. Lastly, you can configure how the effect will pop up or for what condition they will pop up. It can be set to appear on click and then you would have to put a CSS ID for the triggering object. We would like the button to be the trigger so go for the button ID from the content tab, copy it and paste it in the trigger selector field. That's it. Now every time you tap on the button, the effect will occur. Then you could also go for the hover mode where you just need to hover over the button to trigger the confetti effect. 
There's also a delay option that triggers the effect upon a certain time delay. However, check out all the options here. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. See you next time.